Alrighty guys, sure feel like I had a pretty uneventful day. Feels like all I did was waste a bunch of money. Uh, tore this apart, cleaned out the throttle body, pulled the air idle control uh, valve out of it, bought a brand new air idle control, made sure it was all clean, put a new uh, air idle control valve in it. Um, the two previous people that have worked on it has put a computer in it, plugs, wires, coil packs, cam sensor, crank sensor. I put a aerial control sensor. I don't know about the throttle positioning sensor. Um, I spent money and bought a brand new battery today because I got tired of having to jump start the other junker and that uh, Pontiac Vibe battery they threw in it barely cranked it and I don't want to be stranded so uh, brand new brand new battery that was not cheap uh, and then I went and bought a fuel pressure tester or whatever to check on this port right here just by cycling the key it's got 35 pounds of our PSI of fuel pressure and then running the gauge bounces all over between 30 and 50 and then if you rev it up it settles in at about 40 so I'm assuming that's good I don't know the exact fuel pressure it's supposed to have but I wanted to see if it was like when it was riven up or whatever if it would you know if it was a fuel pump issue I'm starting to think not uh, I've traced every ground that I could find on it uh, I haven't found I haven't found the electrical issue the air idle control valve changed nothing on its weird idle that it sometimes gets uh, let's see uh, the airbags aired up uh, I got 70 pounds in them and she come up I don't know two two and a half inches which allowed my fat butt to scoot underneath it and uh, probe around. that's still a good battery it's just a little on the small side to start this but I think that'll fit my my new Holland I think um, so I got a grill ordered and then I gotta get that bumper on there and then gotta get the gotta did a deal to get some there they'll there be mud tires but uh, they're not all weather checked and they got good tread so uh, be glad to get them Michelin's off there oh, let's see this truck needs new new tires I should have rotated these ones out sooner but these ones are almost getting there too but that one's pretty the two inner ones are pretty bad and uh, my front ones are getting pretty bad now one or two of these rims on because I'd bought these rims off an individual for this truck. The original rims to this truck are actually on that truck. And I painted them up gray. And uh, I had to put spacers. Uh, these Kanadi Trail Hogs have been great tires. These back ones are four years old. And uh, I had them for three years. The, the back four I had for three years on my 2001. And when I built this truck, I took the four off and uh, put on the back of here on the original rims to the gray truck. And I just painted them up gray. And then I just bought two brand new ones to put on the front. And then I bought, there's aluminum spacers because these are a fatter tire. And uh, I'd put them, them on here. Uh, but the individual that I bought, these rims off from and then had all them mounted up there's something i remember the shop that put them on there they they had they told me there was something funny about them uh they uh like somebody ground the centers out and they don't self-center so you got to kind of eyeball and center it on there and i think that was part of the hopping and vibration feeling i was having uh because it, it's when i pull these pull these off i'm gonna have to check that out and set whatever ones are doing that off to the side because uh these are the original 
rims and tires off that red truck that whole red truck used to look as nice as these rims um but these all hold air but they're not the greatest either um they're a little bit smaller than what i like but uh they're just super duper scabby um so i was gonna have these sandblasted and painted up i started needle descaling and they're just cratered way too bad i'm not even gonna dink with them uh i think the four that were on the back are the worst i think this rim's not too terribly bad and this one's bad there should be i'm missing a tire oh it's over here i think this one this tire's real bad but the rim is pretty that's about what my other ones looked like till i clean them up so i should and i think i got one more rim i picked up in the shed that i was going to mount a spare on for this i never got around to it so i need to find the one or two oddball rims that aren't, aren't quite right on there and then pick the best two rims that i got here and then i think uh i'm gonna order up some new tires and then uh i'll just have to use these rims and uh yep i'll keep i think i'll keep the two outside back duels and have them still mounted up on an one of these other sets of rims or whatever so i can still keep a same size spare but uh yeah, i think i'll clean up and paint that one and i think the other front one right here these back four are pretty grody uh, they still hold air or whatever but they're, they're too shitty for my truck i don't i don't want to put them on here but I think that's my option there so and then gators all fixed all fixed and running so uh yep hopefully uh that stays good and then i don't know i don't i ain't even been to bed yet so i've been up what some 37 38 hours something like that so I don't know. I, I was going to split some more wood, but I don't, I don't think I got it in me tonight. So, I don't know. Crap I save. Uh, I don't remember them looking quite that bad when I put them in the shed, but apparently they are. So, dogs are getting upset. Um, this might have been one of them rims that... Cause it, might not be centered on there and hopped along or something i don't i don't know i know when you bolt your t when you rotate or whatever whenever you get them on wrong it was pretty noticeable you get going down the road and it you it'd just get like a steady you know thumping along or whatever but uh i'll have to sort that out if not i'll end up buying a completely different set of rims already been looking on marketplace but uh yeah so this thing's got me at a loss i don't know i don't know what's wrong with it um i'm gonna assume it's got an intermittent wiring harness issue and wiring is not my strong suit so it, uh, let's see if she'll start up Getting too many Dodge keys on here. It's got twin caddies on it. I don't know if they're plugged or. They ain't idling too bad right here at the moment. I had the wife come out earlier, had her watch the fuel gauge while I was all crawling underneath and wiggling and jiggling stuff to see if I could get the fuel gauge to to dink around. But I, I know when you're driving down the road, all of a sudden that fuel gauge will start wobbling back and forth and then it'll veer over to empty and then all of a sudden the truck will quit on you. 
and then while you're coasting down the road you just click it back and then start it right back up and you carry on your way and uh, I gotta get the rear view mirror fixed too it's sitting underneath the seat but uh, yeah you got me that new battery sure she sure starts up nice though not running too terribly bad right right at the moment but the warmer it gets the worse it gets and it does have a K&N filter and I, I checked that out when I was into it even though this is all bent in the AC still blows cold in this thing so it's got air horns here <laughs> and then I, this line right here must have went over to it at one point or something or it had something there but uh, you follow that that airline back and then about right in here it's got an air truck blower thing that's like wired down so air will pass through it they used it like an adapter and then it's got another plastic line on the other side of it that goes to right here and then there is a fire extinguisher that they turned into an air tank and uh, from what I can tell where the air pump was mounted the air pump is now missing there's some sort of pump up here but it, I don't know if it's factory or what but it's all rubber rubber mounted but the, the wires have been cut cut to it it uh, and then I don't know what these these wires go to yet either ain't figured that out but uh yeah this is how this thing is sometimes it runs great and then sometimes it don't it's running pretty good right now it's making a liar out of me if it run like that all the time i'd be happy back was all dirty dirt all over my seat now but I don't know I guess we'll just drive her till she quits so it don't run no more at all and then we'll try to sort the issues out my biggest fear is I just don't want to be broke down somewhere with dad that would not be good he's not in very good health right now being stranded with him wouldn't be good at all so that light is nice and bright with that new battery that battery's junk the battery that was originally in its junk i took that in for a core and then you know i got two other ones around here today that, that i charged up i got a grill on order uh that battery's still still good and uh that one took a charge but it cranks slow so let's check it with a voltmeter and it's good but it, it cranked really really slow on this thing so i thought about hanging on to it for a while and maybe using it as a little booster battery but i've blibber blabbered on here enough um i'm probably going to take this toolbox and mount in the back of it um so i got some storage long box i got plenty of room so uh yeah, so that's my very uneventful day. You guys take it easy and have a good one.